Everybody, it's me, Sean. Welcome. Look at that giant foray is already here, ready to go. It's our first viewer. Any moment now, we're going to be able to see what's going on. I'm going to keep this stream window open. You still not streaming yet? What are you guys got to sit through a commercial or something before it uh, before it starts? What is the deal? There we go. Now it is streaming. That is a seems like such a long delay, but I guess it's not really that long. All right, I am going to uh, maybe minimize that. I don't know. Uh, looks like Funak is here as well. Hello, Funak. Good to see you, buddy. Funak has been hanging out over in the Discord. Uh, there's Foxy Fern. Speaking of hanging out in the Discord, Foxy is hanging out in the Discord as well. If you guys are not checking out the Discord, you should. It is... Uh, I actually put the link into the description of this very video, so you don't even have to go to another video. Just look in the description down below. It's got my Discord, it's got my Twitter. But you know what people hate, according to the r slash Let's Play, is people plugging their stuff at the beginning of a video. And you know what? I agree. Do not plug your stuff at the beginning of a video. Plug it in the middle, or towards the end. Uh, so Foxy has uh, never heard of this game before. Um, that... Um, uh, it's not a surprise. This game is kind of old. It's about five years old. It's from 2011, so I guess that would be six years ago. Um, uh, the series is very old. I played um, what was the uh, what was the name of that series? Uh, the first one, 1504? No, 1503. Anno 1503. I played that back in whatever, like 1993 or something like that. And um, uh, I've been playing this series ever since. Now there's a more recent. Uh, version of this um, Anno 2205 uh, which is fun um, it got a lot of hate and uh, pretty bad ratings uh, but I prefer this one even though it's a little older it's more of a classic city builder and on this one you can have opponents so as you can see here so we're at the game setting page uh, we've got we, it looks like we have eight opponents or seven opponents because this one's me uh, but that's not entirely true we actually really only have two opponents, uh, Leon and Vadim. Um, these five people that don't have little difficulty sliders below their names, they're kind of NPCs, and we can do trading with them, and uh, uh, they'll have little missions and stuff. Um, so uh, it'll all make sense once we get into the game. Now, I haven't played this game. I played for a few minutes last night to kind of refresh myself on the controls and all those things, but I haven't played this game in a long time, several years. Uh, so I did kind of leave it on all medium settings. I didn't really mess around with the settings too much. Um, but uh, uh, when I was playing this before, so you can see here, it's like a normal game. It's like right in the middle of the thing. Um, but um, before I would play with a really high difficulty level. Uh, so I'm pretty good and uh, pretty good in playing this. Um, Giant Foray said one stream. He listed all the Anno games. That's right. I remember that. And Funex says uh, if you add up the numbers in all the Anno games, they add up to nine. That is true. That's how I remembered it was 1503 and 2205 because I knew the first two numbers and I just couldn't remember the last one. So I think 1701 was actually 1601. Uh, or no, 1701. That adds up to nine. But that's that's right. That's right. Um, I think they just did it like as a gimmick. But anyways, uh, enough of this. Let's, oh shit, whoops. All right, well, let's go back to setting up the game. Now, see, it always wants to start me with Hector, and I do like to get rid of Hector, because he's tough. And uh, I'm not a big fan, and I always do that too. Not a big fan of the military side of this game. I do prefer to play peaceful. But if you play completely peaceful, it's a little too easy. So uh, we'll keep the two opponents in there. You have to choose your starting factor. I go with the Eden ones because they're you know, environmental. I like having nice cleaner things and stuff. But we will end up having the Global Trust. We have to, you end up having to do a faction for each of them. And then there's also a Scientist faction that you can't start as, but the Scientist faction is um, the uh, kind of the, the ultimate faction or whatever. Um, so yeah, uh, now we'll get, the, get all this stuff running. Um, so I tried to get a better uh, internet service provider so we could maybe start streaming a little faster and maybe just have better uh, results in general. But unfortunately, the... Um, weird. Wait a minute. Sorry, I'm reading a... Um, 
Use a stream bit rate of 2500 kbps. I don't know what. Uh, uh, sorry, there's a little a little thing on on stream health down here that I could see, um, but it looks like looks like the stream is coming through all right. The um, reminder thing is telling me that the stream is terrible. So, all right, here we go. Um, so we start out with a island right here. You can see up here in the corner, this is what I can grow on this island. I can grow tea, rice, and coffee. Now we'll need tea and rice for our initial residence. So um, I don't think I want to start on this island though. I don't really like the looks of it. It doesn't really have any big open spaces. Um, Red Ventru, hello Red Ventru. Can't stay long, but I have to watch the whole thing on VOD. Yep, it'll be around. It's not going anywhere. Um, uh, surprised Yeti is surprised that he actually knows this game, so that's cool. Uh, so uh, I'm really impressed that even though I haven't played for years, it remembers all the goodies that I had locked up in my uh, thing. So since I've played through this a lot, I actually start out with more stuff than you would normally start out with. I guess I can't really grab any of them into my uh, into my thing, though, can I? I'm gonna. I have a. Um, I have a, a speed thing here. There you go, that'll increase my speed by 30%, so I'm going to put one of those. Now, normally when you start the game, you don't have all this stuff, but the great thing is, is once you finish a game and start up a new one, it will remember the stuff that you finished the previous game with if you put it inside your arc, and so it kind of lets you get a little boost on starting up a future game. So, um, uh, Funax says, some Anno games are not sci-fi. The first one you watch was Pirates and stuff. Yeah, this is the first one that was sci-fi. So 2070 and 2205 are both sci-fi, but all the rest of them are historical. Um, I like the historical setting, but the gameplay in this one is actually more... I just I prefer the gameplay in this one to all of the others. Um, so, you know, it'd be nice if the... I mean, the gameplay is fairly similar in all of them, but in each one, it's a little more sophisticated than the previous one. Well, I'm not having much luck in finding a second island. It must be all around those uh, second islands there. It'd be nice if I could start my island right by my arc, but I just don't like... That island has got rivers in it and stuff. There we go. Let's see what this one has. I want a lot of wide open space because that's where my population will live. I like the big open beach here at the start. This is a good sign. Uh, but this one's got... Well, this one I think is going to be a little better than that one. This one doesn't really have the wide open spaces. Although it does have a pretty good wide open space in there. Let's see, I can't, I can't really build anything without actually colonizing the thing, can I? It's got the same resources. I'm going to go ahead and do do this one. Leon Richardson. Hello, Leon. Thank you for showing up here. I'm going to go ahead and put my starting base there. And I'll put down a city center. Rotate it. There we go, right there. And um, I need to place a road here. So the first thing I want to build, aside from this road, is going to be um, construction material uh, thingies. Uh, Surprise Yeti says, aren't rivers good? They're good for some things, but they're not good for population. Yeah, these guys in the comments have got it right. So I like to have a wide open space for population, but for industry, uh, rivers, um, uh, like you can crowd your industry in uh, pretty well without any problems, as I'm sure others are mentioning in the chat right now, or have already mentioned in the chat by the time you hear this. So for each of your production buildings, you also a lot of times have to build resource buildings like we're doing right there. And um, so these are mining up bauxite. Is it bauxite? Basalt? 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 Basal salt? Uh, so they're mining up basalt. 
and then the basalt will be turned into uh, construction goods in the smelter here. So that's where those things are going. I'm going to head back down to my ark and grab some more goodies. Um, oh, time to ban somebody. Uh, block? Does that, does that ban them? I'm going to block them anyways. All right, sorry, Mafia Addict Free Game. You were banned by Vanilla PC Strategy. Uh, M -erm bot. I don't know what that means. It's called Basil. Uh, Basil. Basil Faulty. Um. Oh, shit. What did I do? Ah, that's not what I want to do. I mean, it doesn't really hurt that I did that. Ah, there's what I want to do. All right, you down here. And we're going to grab more goodies from out of here. Construction materials. Now, what do I have? Uh, clearance device. Corn seeds. Alright, I saved all sorts of goodies from previous games. I'm going to use them all up in these test games. I'm not going to have them available for my... Uh, for my... Uh, uh, thingy. Um, Leon says, I'm sorry if my English is bad. I come from Germany and use the Google Translator. Well, good for you, uh, Leon. Um, I don't know any German, so I'm glad you're here to to watch. I think it's fine. Uh, Funak, I mean, it kind of worked, but I made the same joke, so, you know. I don't know who got it out first. I mean, I, I got it out first technically, but I don't know who heard it first among the chat. So... Alright, so I've got this going. Let's get some roads going in here. This is where we will start placing our houses for people to live. I kind of, I guess, I don't really need to connect these roads up um, because stuff just magically transfers from place to place. But I'm going to go ahead and connect some of that stuff up, anyways. Uh, let's get to the houses. Houses, there we are. That's not the right one. That's the right one. It's been a long time since I played this. I know I already mentioned that, but it's worth mentioning again. I'm way out of practice, so don't expect perfection. You should never expect perfection when you're watching me anyway. I do not try to play perfect. I don't like that. Now, you know it would be really nice is if there's an eyedropper to... Um, Say, like, I want to build more houses so I can just click on the houses and build more of them. But there's not. Leon asks, what faction do I like the most? Well, um, I mean, I like to start with the greens, but I, I definitely like the scientists the most. I really like getting the science. But they're all good. I'm not a real big fan of the industrialists, to be honest. They're... They're pretty dirty. Giant Forbray says the stream is getting choppy again. Well, that's too bad. I really have the um, details down as, as much as I can. It's really frustrating because I tried to get a um, tried to get a better uh, internet service provider. And, um, unfortunately, I cannot. I will turn everything down as much as I can. I'll even turn off the bustle factor. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, that won't allow me to do that within the game, so never mind. Alright, but I've got all this other stuff turned down. We'll see what happens there do I want to accept the settings I've done yes you guys you can't you can't force what your time zone it's too early for that we're only we're only 15 minutes into the stream nice try though nice try it's 2313 and Leon yep yeah, night or for Leon night time for you guys um, all right back to the game oh that does not look so good does it but it should be, wow, that looks so much worse. Um, but it should be a nice smooth stream for you guys, I hope. 
Boy, oh boy. Um, all right. Red Friend True is right here on the West Coast with me. West Coast is the best coast. And uh, he's in Pacific Standard Time. All right. Uh, what was I doing? Where's my ship? There's my ship. And for some reason, I was bringing it over here. I don't really need to drop all this stuff off. What I probably should be doing is going around searching for more islands. So I'm going to set the ship on auto search and then probably stop it. Uh, so here we have, ah, I need to make a fisherman's hut. Fish, come from right there. Connect the road up to that fish like that. Giant Foray said the uh, stream did not get any better by turning down the settings. Sorry to hear that. Locating island. Funak said it made no difference at all for him either. Well, that is too bad. Um, I'm so frustrated with that. Uh, yeah, I might set the settings back up higher. At least it looked beautiful then, yeah, exactly. When, um, I was, I rewatched the, uh, I rewatched the, um, RimWorld, or Factorio stream from the other day, and even in the recording, I could see the lag, and it was pretty annoying. It wasn't awful but it wasn't great either all right here's here's what i'm going to try let's uh let's save the game game save yeah and then i'm going to go into the settings and let's see uh I'll put it back the way it was because I pretty much had everything on medium for uh, for the stream. And that's at 2x. That stuff is all fine. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the bustle factor down to minimum. And then we're going to close and we're going to click OK. Uh, I tried streaming at Twitch instead. See if that's better. It's not. It won't. Uh, it would be worse because I'd have many less viewers, and it's my upload. It's uh, it's um, my upload speed that's the problem. It has nothing to do with YouTube or Twitch or whatever. So we're gonna exit out of here. How do I exit out of here? There we go. Yep, and then I'm gonna reload it. <clears throat> so watch. Wait for a minute while I reload it. Won't take too long. Um, Leon says, I have with Anno mostly a money island where I produce what I transport and sell by trade route. Yep, exactly. Um, that is the way to go. Well, Funeca could be zero. That's less than six. You guys are all here because I'm on YouTube, and YouTube tells you to come here. If I was on Twitch, my YouTube people would not show up to watch. Alright, we're going to load up the game. We're going to load up the stream game. Load. And we'll see how this goes. Giant Four Ray says, sometimes there are more than 15 people watching at Start Slow. That is true. I wouldn't expect a lot of people for this. I'm playing a six-year-old game that's not very popular. Um, so I don't expect a lot of people to show up. I expect people to show up in the chat that are like regular viewers. Well, this didn't seem to didn't seem to improve the graphics. Did it not uh, take my changes? Oh, probably because I...
Um, what did I... Uh, put that texture quality back on high. And terrain quality back on high. There we go. Um, but yeah, I'm playing this because you guys asked me to play it. So, you know, uh, I uh, uh, wanted to play a game that you guys had requested and that I was interested in playing. I don't know how I screwed up the graphics so badly, but I guess we're stuck with what we have now. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, I thought you guys would have fun. And the people who are here are having fun. That's what matters to me. Um, I sure would... I really need to, to fiddle out how to, uh, how to make this stream thing work better, though. Anyways, I'm going to stop worrying about it because that's all I'm going to worry about. We'll never get any game done. If, uh, if I keep worrying about it all the time. So we've got tea coming in. And um, um, uh, Red Ventru, you're welcome. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I, I try to do a little bit of both. Trust me, I worry about ratings and stuff too. I just ended my uh, RimWorld series today, even though the regular viewers enjoy it. But the new series, you guys are going to love the new series that will start in a couple of days and uh, it'll bring in a bunch of new viewers that's usually how it goes so so it seems like all of these islands are the same they're all they all have the tea rice and coffee thing which is frustrating um, but I guess the further out we get the more we'll find the other kind of uh, interesting islands to uh, um, to to get the other or not interesting islands but the other uh, resources that we'll need, the more advanced resources. What are we running short on here? Uh, Foxy Fern asks if it's a new RimWorld series or a different game. It'll be a new RimWorld series. Um, it, uh, uh, it's going to be a tribal melee only series, so no ranged weapons. Uh, Funak, um, my cat's actually 15 years old. Um, but uh, he is pretty old. Uh, Leon, I do have the expansion pack, the underwater whatever it is expansion pack. I do have that. It's, I doubt we'll see it in this stream because I'm just not good enough to, uh, to get that far in two hours. But I have it. It's really fun. Uh, so we've got vegetables, wheat, and corn on this island. So we definitely actually want to go ahead and grab that island right now. Come back here, you. We're going to go ahead and uh, lay claim to this island. Giant Forest says, if I remember correctly, you can cut out trees in your range without costing money. Um, Red Ventru says, looking forward to the new RimWorld. Started a new colony myself. No pawn left behind. Oh, yeah, that's right. You were telling me about that. Yeah, that has got to be a mess. Um... Uh, good luck with that. I, I kind of wanted to do the population explosion as a Let's Play series, and I'm still holding it in my back pocket as a potential for the future. Population explosion is a pretty exciting, uh, uh, you know, idea. Um, but, um, uh, the, the melee only thing, I just couldn't, uh, I can't resist it. I've kind of always wanted to try that. It's going to be really hard. Like, I'm not quite sure how we're going to deal with um, alien ships and stuff. But I'm going to do my best. Uh, Manny has already given me some good advice. Uh, he's always good at that sort of thing. And, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see. It's going to be fun. And it should be the sort of thing that the viewers like. And the sort of thing that maybe we'll bring in some new viewers. I hope so. Uh, Leon said he's never made it to the geniuses in Anno 2070. Really? I, I, I've gotten... I basically got to where I had everything. And uh, like where you go to the moon and all that stuff. It's pretty fun. Oh wait, this is Anno 2070, huh? Sorry, I was thinking Anno 2205. Uh, Red Ventru, yeah, it's too... The Cassandra just stops you from getting people. Um, 
you can have all the social you want. If you have too many people, Cassandra won't let you recruit them. She'll just stop you from recruiting them. Um, uh, e even though the game will tell you different things, it doesn't actually live. It doesn't actually do what the game says that it's doing. So, all right. So I'm producing my own uh, uh, these things there. So I'm gonna put some more back into my ship. Very good. And I'm gonna move half of those tools over to the ship. Great. And then I'm gonna send you back out exploring some more. Okay, you are good. I was gonna go up here and I was going to build um, some, uh, I've got that new building, the entertainment center, concert hall. Place that down right there. Build some roads. Oh, I forgot to build my uh, windmills. Power. There it is. Registering change in demographics. Oh, sounds like I got a new uh, a new uh, population type. So now I ah oh good I can start building tools. So I need to build a depot over here. It's like I can hit all three of those mines, which is great because that is what I will end up needing. Um, no, nope, I don't need the repair dock. So I need. Well, looking for the green offensive, you've come to the right place. All right, so I've discovered Leon. He's over I'm here. He's usually not too difficult to deal with. Oh, hey, speaking of Leon, uh, Leon Richardson asks, what's the plan in this stream? Same plan I always have, Leon, to have a good time with all my friends. Uh, I never have a plan. Um, I usually just play a game till I get bored with it. I won't get bored with this in two hours. So we'll stream for two hours. We'll have a good time. And that'll pretty much be it. Probably never see this game again. Because uh, assuming that we still only have half a dozen people or whatever watching, you know, I uh, uh, probably won't bring it back. I kind of wanted to test the waters to see if we'd be able to draw any sort of audience with this. Um, uh, I didn't really expect to. Um, and uh, I'll take a look at the stats after we're done and see how it turns out for real. But, you know, I wasn't expecting much. I just wanted to try something different. This is a fun game. I really like this game. And I haven't played it for years, so I thought it was worth a shot. All right, so we need... Oh, we need more tools and uh, thingies there. Locating island. Registering mainland. All right, what do we got for this island? We have fruit and corn up here. Vegetables and coffee. Oh, wine and sugar. I really want to grab this island too. It's got a, it's a pretty good island. Come back. Now, this is probably going to make one of my neighbors angry with me. Leon says it would be better not to let them rise automatically because of the tools. I'm not sure what you mean, Leon. I think it translated wrong. Uh, attorney. Hey, attorney. How are you doing, buddy? Haven't stopped by in a while. Glad to see you're still climbing in subscribers. Yeah, me too. I, um, I've been trying a bunch of different stuff and trying to have some fun. Today we're definitely having fun. This is not a, um, not a big, uh, big, uh, population, um, uh, it's not gonna build up my subscribers with this stream today, but we're gonna have a good time, play a fun game. Um, Armadillo Hero is leaving home at four to go to France tomorrow. Cool. Have a good time, uh. Uh, have a good time, Armadillo. Ah, Leon, you are right. That's right. When the population rises automatically, thank you for thank you for that. How do I turn that off again? Um, 
I am anyway. How do I stop the population from going up? Is it centrum rights denied, but did I deny the right ones? Uh, those are eco workers, eco employees. So I want to deny it for eco workers. Nobody makes a better leader than you do. Simply the best. There we are. There's why I want to lock it. Okay, great. Now I got it. Thank you very much. Uh, Leon says the voice of Eve is different in English than in German. That doesn't surprise me. Uh, giant foray uh, means people in your city can evolve on their own. You can prohibit it. Yep, got it. Thank you. Uh, Rasta was catching up on RimWorld since you're live. May as well watch this. Oh, okay. So you're going to... Uh, sure, you can hear me. Uh, Attorney says, been busy traveling recently with the time difference. Haven't been able to catch one. Keeping up with the RimWorld series. Good as usual. Well, thank you so much. I like to hear that, Attorney. I, uh, I try, to, uh, try to keep things good and interesting. Let's get to uh, let's get uh, construction materials going on this island. I'm not really going to need that many of them, so I'll just set up one of these guys over here and one of those, and then I will have everything else go back to the ship. All right, ship. You're going to explore a little more, but uh, actually, why don't you go back to the home thing, because I need your the tools. Of the future. Everybody talks a little bit in this game. Actually, quite a bit in this game. There's a lot of chatter that comes up from the, uh, from the uh, various people. <laughs> Leon, that doesn't surprise me. The voice of Eve is somewhat more aggressive in Germany. I believe that. Um, pretty much anything said in German sounds more aggressive because it's in German. Uh, I don't, I hope that stereotype is not too offensive, but I think that's a generally accepted, uh, 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 like that's definitely how Americans view, uh, Germans, the German language is it sounds a lot more aggressive. How are we doing on... Uh, oh, we actually don't have a lot of building modules on this island either, which I'm kind of surprised by. Did I, I did build the smelter, right? Huh. All right, get those off the ship. We need those tools to make. And I guess I could have just bought some tools too. Uh, we need a coal mine. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, there's the other mine I already built. Great, there's our coal mine. That's an iron mine, right? Okay, good. Oof. Funax is typical, typical Sean being insensitive and racist. Yeah, tell me about it. I've been, I've been uh, charged with those things in the past. But just by people who... Uh, I think they, they were just upset because I didn't just like do them what, do what they want. Culturist, I am concerned about being culturist or or ins just insensitive in general Warning. it's Im it's important to be Death sensitive to people's down. uh to to people's um differences and everything we're all different we all have uh uh like i have things that hurt my feelings uh surprise yeti says when he was in germany and talked to some germans they didn't sound so aggressive no i don't think they they probably actually don't but you know um, Leon says in the town center you can switch off general ascent. Aha! Yes. Ascension rights denied. So I can turn them off and then turn them back on. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Leon. Very helpful. I um I think that I have that whole German stereotype because of Conan O'Brien. Like whenever Conan O'Brien he he'll he'll say something in German, but he says it in a very uh 
just a very aggressive way. So I'm mostly just like repeating Conan O'Brien's kind of cartoonish stereotype. Any stereotypes about the Swedes? Nah. Not that I can think of Surprise Yeti. Like, there's the Swedish chef, but that's not really a stereotype. Game like, sweet, Swedes are, I think, probably thought of as just like being beautiful, tall, blonde. Yeah, super nice. Just like the Nords. Basically anybody in the, uh, in the, uh, Wait, what? Funak, what are you talking about? Any stereotypes about the Swedes? Yeah, that you're overrun by Muslims? I don't I don't appreciate that. I did lose my train of thought. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about over there in the chat. I got to pay more attention. I don't, uh, probably not a good idea getting into religious debates in the chat. Your assignment? Oh, oh wait, shit, I don't want to buy anything. Did I just order? I didn't mean to order that. Can I un order? Oh, do I have all these upgrades in this thing too? Holy mackerel. Your order has been confirmed. Oh shit, that was my opportunity to cancel the order. Damn it. Oh well. <sighs> I, you can tell I haven't played this game for a long time here. Not, uh, oh, Twitch chat. That's the chatter on uh, the Twitch channels. Yeah. Yeah, great place. Uh, uh, that's like between, it's like worse than Reddit, better than 4chan, I would say. Uh, about equal to the, some of the comments on YouTube videos. Not on my YouTube videos. I have very good, nice commentators on my YouTube videos, but some of the YouTube videos I've seen, uh, people have, boy, oh boy, they get some, uh, they get some real, uh, real interesting, uh, comments in those on, like, Anybody who's famous or anything like that, they get some very weird stuff going on. All right, so I need another depot over here. Yeah, yeah, so I got those weapons that I didn't really want. Stupid. For probably way more expensive than I can afford. Of course, we're not really playing on a high difficulty, so we'll be all right. Now, one thing I really like to do in this game is if anybody really cares to get any big advanced tips or anything, but I like to set up individual depots for each of the different little groups of industrial clusters that I'm making. So like I'm not going to connect the roads for these depots to anything else. And it kind of helps me keep things a little better organized and um, uh, 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 organized and uh, um, just easier to be able to look at and stuff. And this will turn lum will start producing lumber. Great. Um, Leon asks if health insurance is really so bad in the U.S. 
Uh, yeah, exactly. Rasta says it's not bad because it doesn't exist. That's not entirely true, but um, it's a mess. Yeah. I don't know how bad it seems to you, um, but you have to pay for health insurance yourself. There's no free health insurance for, like, for me, I would not have, I don't have health insurance. So that's, that's the answer. I don't have health insurance. If I get a job, I should be able to have health insurance through my job. It will cost me a couple hundred dollars a month to pay for my health insurance along with the job putting in money towards my health insurance. But um, yeah, it's a mess. They're trying to fix it, sort of. Uh, unfortunately, they're not doing very well. Uh, Funak says, I'm sorry, I kind of got lost. You're not really explaining, uh, still having fun, but not learning the game. Uh, that makes sense. I'm not really explaining it very well because I'm trying to play and talk in the chat and all that stuff at the same time. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you have questions, feel free to ask questions. I'll try to answer them for you and help explain it. We're, I'm, I'm doing very poorly. We're not really moving along very well in this game, to be honest going to open up all the ascension rights so all my buildings can can uh, can go up levels these guys do not have so basically everybody has special needs right so like this first level these eco workers they need fish and they need tea and so I'm making tea right here and I'm, I'm making fish from our fisherman thing we actually are going to need to get some more fish in so I'm going to go ahead and build up some more of those um, and uh okay so that's where that fish is um if i go to my warehouse i can see that i have you know i have 27 fish and i have 15 tea so i'm actually going to need to get some more tea um and then uh when they ascend into eco employees the eco employees they're going to need i don't think they really need anything yet these are construction materials so they allow me to build tools and wood but the eco employees are going to start to need sushi before too long. And then they're going to need little PDAs. And uh, I'll also be able to build weapons, but I don't need weapons yet. But once I provide them with sushis and PDAs, they're also going to need a public uh, education network. And once I provide them with that, then they'll open up a new level of population. Um, a new level of uh, population. Um, uh, uh, yeah, new level of population. And eventually we're going to have to start up a different type of population type because they're going to have a whole different production chain. And um, uh, those two production chains together are going to allow me to start up a third population type, which will then uh, uh, allow all sorts of great advances. But we won't. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get far enough to see that third population type by the time the stream is over with. We probably won't even get far enough to see the second population type at the rate this has been going with uh, all me talking and everything. Uh, Shallow Vids says hello. I say hello, Shallow Vids. Uh, Giant Foray asks if I'm playing Anno in multiplayer. Nope, I am playing it in single player. Uh, I, don't, uh, I don't like multiplayer games. Uh, this is the second time today that people have gone off the hook talking about World War II uh, in, uh, in the chat. Um, so, you know, every, everything's going fine. No worries. Just keep it civil, guys. I don't want to have any, uh, any arguments break out. Anyone interested in doing oh. a little business? So trench, trench, coat, coat? trench Coat's a trader that will come into, the, uh, come into the sector every once in a while, and he'll want to trade people and stuff um, and so I think I saw a little flash showing that he appeared over here but I'm not gonna bother going over with him we don't we're not quite to the point to do trading and stuff yet we've really got everything still on one of the uh, um, uh, Funak you are involved uh, uh, well I guess you're not really involved in this one are you um, um, but uh, don't uh, you know? Don't don't try to start a fight or anything. You don't need to don't need to bring that stuff up. Uh, Red Ventru uh, Anno WW2 would be awesome. Yeah, I suppose it would. Um, 
set in like 1930s, 1940s, something like that, sure. I'd be happy with any of the um, uh, any of the uh, uh, er time eras, you know. I like the future ones. I like the past ones. I like present day ones. I'd like to see like a Europa Universalis for like the Cold War era or something. All right, uh, what am I doing here? So I've got a bunch of these things that I don't really need. I think I might actually take those back to my ark. And I probably should be exploring some more islands. How are our other little islands doing? Um, we have got some construction materials here and some construction materials here. Uh, Funak says you can't make Anno 19 anything. It already adds up to 10. Oh, you know, that's a good point. Uh, hmm. Yeah. And you know, all you could do for 18 would be like 1800. Can you do 19 minus 1 plus 1? Maybe that's why they don't do it that way. Superwoman. Hello, Superwoman. Thanks for joining. This uh, this uh, stream is... I'm not doing very good on the game here, to be honest. This game... Uh, it's not a good idea for me to play a game that I don't really remember how to play. And um, am not doing very well at. I've discovered. Stupid. Okay, well at least we only ordered five weapons. I can't believe I ordered weapons. What a dumb move that was. All right, ship, go out and do some more exploring. Back to there. Uh, Red Vern True says, give it a real name like they did Dawn of Discovery. Well, they only did that for, for the United States. It was Anno 1404, I believe, for the rest of the world. Um, so, uh, um, You know, I mean, they just kind of dumbed it down for the American market. I prefer the Anno series because then you know it's part of a series. Like, this is Anno 2205 or 2070, not like Dawn of Global Warming or whatever. Uh, uh, Ghost Remave. Hello, Ghost Remave. Good to see you. Uh, thanks for stopping in. Uh, Superwoman says she's going to pick up Avon Colony for the PS4 when she heads to work. Um, sure. Uh, uh, that got a kind of a poor recommendation from uh, um, Foxy. She didn't didn't really care for it. I liked it because it looked a lot like this game. That actually, people talking about it is kind of. I think that may have been how the idea of me playing this game originally came up. We talked about Avon Colony, then the conversation turned to Anno, and then next thing you knew, uh, we were uh, talking about Anno. I need to build more houses. Do that right new there. Another new island over here. What do we got on this one? Oh. Hi, welcome. Oh. Rodriguez of the Eden Initiative. Oh, nice okay. Someone here who shares our Yana. Values. Uh, Foxy says, don't take her opinion on it. Just didn't enjoy it enough to uh, pay $35 for it. Nope, but you're the only person I know personally who's played it. So, you know. At least you can speak on uh, speak on it. Any, I'm sure there's no Hollywood Handbook listeners there when I ask Foxy to speak on that. Hope you ain't afraid to get your hands dirty. So a trench coat just offered me a mission. If I wanted to, I could transport. So there's going to be a um, a pilot in Alesta, which I'm guessing is my island. Yep, Alesta. So if I were to poke around in here, I could find a pilot wandering around somewhere in here and then transfer that pilot back to Let trench coat and I would get a bit of a reward, but I'm not going to bother I'm not going to bother around with that. Uh Rasta asks if this is a Steam game. Um it is. Um It is uh 
Uh, it's also Ubisoft, so I think you have to go through Ubisoft's weird thing as well. But it definitely, I bought it on Steam. It's not cheap. I'd buy it when it's on sale or something if you can. Ah, I am happy to ah now I found Sokov. Sokov is the, uh, very pleased to see. he's the one who's going to be hostile towards us. He's definitely the industrial, as you can see. He doesn't care about his uh, island's environment or anything. You do have to worry about your island's environment. That becomes an important factor. Um, I'm not sure how we see that, but it becomes more relevant as we, uh, as we go later on. Uh, mine sites. Uh, oh, we can see right there our uh, eco balance is minus 16. So that means we're having a, a small penalty towards our growing, um, our growing uh, uh, small penalty towards the growing abilities or something like that I don't remember exactly how it works but basically you need to you need to uh, take care of your environment um, especially for a lot of these things so uh, was somebody leaving ah Ray's got to go help his mom all right Ray good to see you buddy thanks for stopping in and uh, have fun How are we doing on power? We've got 10 power. How are we doing on... I need more uh, more of those construction thingies. Where's my ship? Ship, head back here. I don't want those construction things after all. It's not like we're going to have any sh shortage. Uh, Foxy says, oh, she lost 30 subscribers. I would bet that's uh, probably just a uh, uh, an adjustment that YouTube does every once in a while. They will adjust their subscribers by a little bit. Didn't happen to me, but maybe, um, uh, you know, people who, wow, that's weird. Uh, could be people who subscribed um, because of your, uh, because of your, uh, um, what was the, uh, the rating review? video and then they just kind of realized that they weren't um, weren't going to watch anymore or something like that I don't know that is weird probably not good subscribers anyways Foxy try not to worry about it does seem like an awful lot but easy for me to say don't worry about losing 100 subscribers I'd, I'd be pretty upset if I lost 100 subscribers too Yeah, so it could be a bunch of people subscribed with that review video. And, because uh, how many, didn't you get like several hundred in one day because of the video? But still, you you just hit 3,000. That definitely has to, uh, has to be hard. Sorry, Foxy. Anybody who hasn't subscribed to Foxy's channel, you definitely should go check it out. She's got a great channel. Does lots of fun videos. She's super nice. She's been very helpful. If you enjoy my channel, uh, part of the reason you discovered me was probably has to do with her, because uh, she's been very, uh, uh, very, uh, very helpful in helping me get my channel going and everything. So, but yeah, sorry, Foxy. It had to have been some, uh, had to have been some YouTube thing for for them all to happen like that. It's not like, uh, not like our uh, um, our Dragon Lair friend uh, 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 somehow managed to convince a bunch of his subscribers to unsubscribe to your channel. Funak says he just did a YouTube search for RimWorld. Yeah, I mean I'm glad that I. Uh, uh, I'm glad that I got, um, got, uh, uh, I have good results on, on YouTube searches for RimWorld. 
Sounds like we've hit a new population milestone. Great, so now we can start producing health food. For that we need vegetables and rice. So I am going to actually have to start um, I'm going to have to start making vegetables. Actually, what I So we have extra coal. So I need another iron mine. Put that there. And I will need more steel. So I need another steel mill right there. And I will take these tools. And I'm going to run them down. This is where we have our vegetables, right? Right? Vegetables. Great. I'm going to run those down here. Down here we have tools and building modules and too much basalt. Uh, Funak says, I was the first guy who didn't have an annoying screechy voice. Well, that's good. I just have an annoying kind of whiny voice. Uh, Rasta actually found me in a recommendation in a Rorax Plays RimWorld video. Well, I'm not sure who Rorax is, but uh, I'm surprised Yeti found me looking for terroir. Yep, I got in early on terroir. I did really well with that. Um, Funak says I was on page 8 for the RimWorld recommendations. Well, still, uh, YouTube does a good job of recommending me for RimWorld. It brings in a lot of, uh, a lot of people. I'm very happy with how YouTube's algorithms treat me. Uh, they get me lots of views and uh, grab people's attention. I'm really happy about it. All right, so down here, I need to build a vegetable farm. And what am I missing? I need, oh, I need wood. Well, okay. Head back home, ship. Uh, Draconic Rose is a Rorax fan. They're both patrons. Alright, maybe I'll have to check them out. I don't really like watching other people play RimWorld. It kind of, like, especially if they use mods and stuff, which pretty much everybody does. Uh, Red Ventrue says, I have a relaxing voice. Well, thank you. That's nice to hear. People have uh, compared me to Bob Ross, I'm assuming in a favorable way, or at least a equal way, you know. Um, uh, Leon says the disadvantage of the ecos is that they uh, produce more, consume, and less in general. Um, I think you mean that they produce less, consume more in general, because uh, I, I believe that is the, the experience that I've had, and I agree. Um, but um, I, uh, I just uh, agree with them in a... Uh, um, you know, uh, like they're, I'm on the same wavelength as them, like um, emotionally, I guess. Not really quite sure what the word I'm trying to think of is. Oh, there's my wooden things. Great. That's what I want. Oh, and I'm overproducing on iron. So, so much for that. Um, uh, Funak says, I have a somewhat soothing voice and actually release videos more than once every two weeks. Yeah, yeah, the uh, releasing frequent videos things is really important to me. Um, when people ask me for advice, that's the piece of advice I always give them. Is uh, You know, a lot of people say it's it's quantity over quality. Um, or no, quality over quantity. And to a certain extent, that's true. But quantity is pretty important. Uh, Pig of War uh, says he's late. Has he, you haven't missed any podcast, Pig of War. Uh, they tried to, uh, I had a few people asking for one of them earlier, but it didn't happen. Um, it, it'll usually come up eventually. But that's not, uh, uh, asking for it is not how you get them up, as I think most of you guys know. I don't really need to tell you that. Leon says, uh, it's advantage is the eco balance is very high. Very much produced 400 times more than normal. Yep, yep, if you have a good... Uh, good clean environment they'll produce a lot which is really nice um, oh shit this island has a pollution on it 
I did not see that. So this island is not going to produce very well for the vegetables that I brought over here. Fortunately, I have one of those... Boy, I almost want to abandon this island. What else do we have on this island? I don't know. It's pretty good on producing all that stuff. I'm going to use up one of my... Uh, one of my things here. Uh, Foxy makes a good point there. Uh, diminishing returns though, while two videos per day will net you more than one video per day will be slightly less per video. Exactly right. That's why I don't do five videos per day anymore. Uh, doing four or five videos a day was just too much. Um, uh, three, I would like to go back to doing three videos a day, but, uh, right now I just don't have time for it with, uh, uh, actually I probably could get away with it, but I feel like two videos a day is kind of the sweet spot for keeping all my viewers entertained. Um, three videos a day, I feel like I just, I dilute things too much, um, by, uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's just too much. Nobody can watch three videos a day. I don't really expect anybody to watch two videos a day, to be honest. But I feel like it's people are capable of watching two if they really wanted to. Alright, we're doing good on food. We're doing good on tea. And we need uh, those specialty items. Um, here. Uh, where's my ship? Let's get over here and actually engage with my thingy. Uh, Superwoman says, I wonder if my kids will have a couple of kids in RimWorld. I hope they will. Uh, only if you're using the uh, pregnancy mod. They don't have children without the pregnancy mod. Oh, wait. What? That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Pick those up. No. Those are very expensive. I just want to transfer one of them. How do you transfer only one? I know there's a way to do it. Uh, is it shift click? No. Control click? No. Alt. Click. No. Huh. Uh, oh, there we go. There's how you do it. Like that. Great. All right. Mission accomplished. I don't really need to take anything else over there. So let's get back down to here. All right. Uh, Rachel. Hello, Rachel. Thank you for watching. Good to hear from you. Um, Leon says, it's funny that the tycoons initially have better facilities to increase the ecological balance. Um, yeah, I, I, I guess. Uh, you know, it's, it's a good reason to, uh, to, 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 to build up to those, to that population type, though. Uh, Rachel Brand asks, what have you missed? I mean, I'll be honest, Rachel, not much. <laughs> I'm, I'm progressing very slowly in this game because I'm spending an awful lot of time chit-chatting with everybody. Uh, so you've missed a lot of me talking, but that's it. Nothing, um, nothing too remarkable. There you go, exactly. Funak says, pretty much Sean keeps getting distracted by chat and keeps screwing up. Exactly right. That is the story of this episode. Where, where are we at? It's 3 o'clock already? Holy moly. I haven't gotten anything done. It's too bad it's not 2011 and people would love watching this game. Because that would be neat. Alright. So now I've cleared up this island. The environmental impact will slowly come back up to zero which means we'll start producing more vegetables over here and here. Uh, I won't have to worry about um, won't have to worry about that nonsense anymore. Uh, 
There's another depot. I know I said I don't normally connect up these depots, but I'm going to in this case because this is just an industrial island. Surprise Yeti says there is a car on fire outside of his building. That is crazy. I hope it doesn't uh, like damage anything you own or whatever. That would be a real shame. Uh, oh, good. I'm glad I left that area open. Uh, Superwoman needs to go to work in an hour. Well, that's perfect, because that's when, that's when I'll be done streaming. Um, but you may need to go get ready before you finish up the stream. I cannot grow rice down here, but I can grow rice on my main island over in here. Um, maybe I'll do it over on this area. Like there. And rice. I do need to make sure this gets connected to a road. Now it's showing the uh, shadow of the lumber of the sawmill. I don't really understand why that sawmill has a shadow. Is it like environmentally negative? Is that be the shadow or something? What is the... Okay, that's my tax income, global population. Got it. Yeah, I'm not going to accept any of your quests, guys. I don't have time for quests right now. Uh, so we've got rice coming in. I'm going to need to set up a trade... I can't really do a trade route quite yet. Because we'd need more ships to do a trade route. Wait, do I have nothing in my warehouse? I was going to say... How do I not have any vegetables in my warehouse? They're just too slow to grow because the thingy is uh, the thingy is um, uh, environment is cleaning up too slowly. Let's see. Uh, Superwoman asks, uh, what's the green growing thing near the stream on my main island? The green growing thing. This right here? That's a rice plantation. This, uh, you probably mean what's this green thing right there. That's, uh, I could build a dam there eventually. Uh, that's a pretty late game technology. So it would take me a while. I'd have to build the third population type get them built up to a pretty advanced level and then research it in the academy. So that's a long ways away. But that provides a ton of electricity. So much electricity. It's very useful. Uh, so I need to get a sushi factory. Right there will be fine. Now that's going to require... Um, Negative environmental influences will reduce fertility. Oh, shoot. Um, I don't have anything to increase my fertility right now, do I? Ah, there we go. Uh, oh, and I, I can build a shipyard already? So what do I need for a shipyard? Wood, tools, and construction materials. Weather control station provides plus 15 eco balance, so that's good. Eco balance. Values rising. Place down a couple of those. There. Registering energy shortage. Energy shortage, of course. So now I need some more power. Can't. Nope, those overlap. So you don't want to overlap your uh, energy sources. You can see the little circles around these things. Uh, I guess these guys don't need to be next to a road or anything, though. Uh, thank you, Leon. Uh, I had forgotten about that, but you're but you are right. Um, 
Uh, Superwoman loves sushi. That's eh, all right. I like sushi well enough, but it's usually one of the last things I will choose. Um, Surprise Yeti says you're supposed to eat sushi with your hands. Funak says everyone knows that. I did not uh, know that. I eat sushi with chopsticks. Um, Surprise Yeti says it's not really a car fire. It's the United States Congress paying you a visit. Congress is easily mistaken for a car fire, so the confusion is understandable. I thought maybe the Mooch had gotten over there to Sweden and uh, was hanging out outside his apartment. It's the Mooch! Fresh off his job at the White House. Surprise Yeti, he was just making a joke. He was making a, a joke about our political, about the dysfunction in our political system. Not to be taken too seriously. Aha. <sighs> uh -huh. Funax says a car fire can't be the U.S. Congress. A car fire actually does something. That is pretty good. Now, it's funny because... Um, like, I have a great Congress person. Actually, I'm very lucky. I have a great Congress person who I'm very proud of. And I have two great senators that I'm also very proud of. Ron Wyden and Jeff Merkley. Um, and my Congress person is, uh, P not Peter DeFazio, Earl Blumenauer. Um, and they're all very progressive Congress people. Um, but uh, uh, most of the, um, most people... In the United States, if you ask them, do you approve of Congress, they typically say no. Congress has a very low approval rating, like 15% or something like that. It's terrible. But if you ask each individual person, if they, uh, if you ask people if they approve of their individual Congress person, each individual Congress person typically has a high approval rating. So every person uh, approves of their local representative but they don't approve of the way all of the local representatives work together. So it's, it's a strange situation where we all think our guy is doing a great job, but we think that the, everybody else is doing a terrible job. And like, you know, it's not really how that works. Building selection expanded. Link Smith says, hello, hello, Link Smith. Welcome to the stream. New uh, new viewer, uh, I believe. If you're not, I apologize. I forget some of the viewers who don't come around so often. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by. I hope you'll enjoy the stream. A little slow pace today. Kind of uh, kind of out of it, to be honest. Now, what's up with uh, what's up? Oh, no vegetables. That's what's going on. No vegetables. Hey, where's my boat? What are you doing up here, boat? You're not supposed to be up here. You're empty. Shit. Get back down here. Load up some of those vegetables. Surprise Yeti. It sounds like Surprise Yeti is asking or is complaining that the context is not included. That's right. It's time for our number three favorite podcast. Context not included. Surprise Yeti says the context is not included. He doesn't understand anything of what he is saying. And I say, I don't know what you're talking about. What's the context? Who do you not understand and why? Do you not understand Reverend True? Do you not understand Funak? None of us understand anything. It's a very confusing situation that we're in with 20-second delays. Chat and voice combined. Context not included. Brought to you by me, Sean, with Vanilla PC Strategy. It's everybody's number three favorite podcast. Red Rent True. Maybe adding a little context by saying Americans don't like our government, but like our government person. That's the context. Surprise Yeti doesn't know what I'm talking about. I'm the one who has context not included. Thank you. That's it for this episode, everybody. Thanks for listening to Context Not Included. And now back to the stream, just like normal. Oh, boy. That was an exciting episode. Of our third favorite podcast, jeez, context not included. That is, that host though, what a nut job that guy is. Boy, oh boy, he needs to figure out what he's talking about. I want all of them. Why? Because that's why. All right, there we go. Vegetables, good. 
Any other stuff we want to get rid of? Maybe some construction materials. We don't, don't need all those there. Get all the uh, thing there. Uh, yeah, sorry, surprise Yeti. Um, I, I don't know what kind of system that you have, so... Funek, that's pretty good. John Green made a good joke about the Senate in one of the U.S. history videos. The House was designed to be responsive to the people while the Senate was created to never pass anything, and it was so masterfully designed that it still works to this day. I sort of agree with that. I agree with the, the latter half. I don't know that the House is very responsive to the people. Uh, Superwoman likes What's Your Time Zone better. Yeah, What's Your Time Zone is fun. We'll see if it comes up. Context not included, just happened to come up. I can't... Uh, I can't uh, I can't control what comes up and what doesn't come up. Actually, I think Context Not Included is our number two favorite podcast, by the way. The ratings are in. Number two favorite podcast. I'm uh, Number three favorite podcast has not come up, and I'm not going to tell you guys what it is because I don't want anybody trying to sneak it in there. Surprise Yeti says he doesn't even know anything about Swedish politics. It doesn't really matter. Well... Um, I part of me wants to argue with you and part of me wants to agree with you uh, I feel like it really does matter and uh, um, but at the same time considering how things are uh, I don't know that they do matter uh, Superwoman says is there a poll and where uh, it's in my head Superwoman and I'm the one who votes on it. Um, so uh, there's no actual, it's not actually number two or number three most popular. There's no there's no popularity for, for Context Not Included or any of the other podcasts. Basically, it's just whichever came first. Uh, Uh, Superwoman says, "Oh, what's your time zone got vetoed by the governor, Sean?" Um, yeah, it just it uh, it just needs to come up needs to come up naturally. It's hard for it to come up naturally when everybody's excited about it. Um, that's the problem with uh, that's the problem with the podcasts is once you guys know about them, it's hard to hard to get them in there. All right, I should be playing this game instead of worrying about uh, worrying about all the nonsense that I'm worrying about. Um, are we making food? We are finally making food, so that's good. Um, do I have? So we need 750 eco employees, and I have 639. These new houses should get us there, I think. Everybody's covered by the uh, concert things. I'm going to send you back down here because we're just going to continue grabbing more food. Um, can I build a shipyard yet? I can. Great. I'm going to. Right there. Eco -balance degradation. Oh, that's hurting my eco balance, of course. Why wouldn't it? Uh, we're at negative one. That's not so bad. Uh, so if I want to build a freight ship, good. I can build one right there. Now, I have the capacity for... Oh, I have the capacity for 25 units. I have plenty of uh, plenty of capacity. Leon says we had the American policy system recently in history. It would be interesting to see uh, how, like the Germans, learn about the American political system. I, 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 yeah, I don't know. I like. I, it's fun to learn how other countries learn about different other countries because you know we have enough trouble learning about our own countries within our own countries, let alone through the perspective of another country. Sorry if you had to listen to those drinking noises. I'm very thirsty. <laughs> Uh, 
All right, more food here, please. Mm, sort of. How's the... Uh, ah, good, the environment is coming back to normal here. And I just built a freight ship so I can automate my... Um, automate my... Uh... Game saved. Oh, I can start making PDAs as well, great. So they'll use, those use sand. When this I, I will get sand from the river, which is great. And copper. And I would get copper from one of these islands. Does this island have copper? Gold, sand, coal, iron, limestone. No copper, huh? How about my home island? Home island it does indeed have copper. 4,300 or whatever of it. So I'm going to build a warehouse there. I will build a copper mine right there. Build a road to connect those two up. Build a road to connect up a little more this way. Now here's where I need the river because the river will provide me with sand. So if I go here and I go to sand extractor can build that on the river. I can run this over this way. Like that. There we go. Connect it up to the thing. Uh, PDA personal data assistant. Personal data assistant. Uh, Draconic Rose says hello. Hello, Draconic Rose. Thank you for uh, thank you for showing up. I appreciate you being here. Always good to see you. Draconic Rose has got a fun little channel as well. She plays some RimWorld. She does. Uh, she's got like Dream Daddy going right now, I think. And Hospitalize. She's given Hospitalize a try. Interesting game. Let's see, so here's my chip factory. I think I'm actually going to put this over here. Registering energy and a PDA factory, which requires chips. That's it. All right. Although they call it communication, so I guess I should stop calling it a PDA. Start calling it a communications factory. We need more power, but that's all right. We've got plenty of room for power for now. Eventually, power is going to become a... Um, we're going to get pretty crowded with our power demands. In the meantime though, can I squeeze one in right there? Is that going to be 100% efficiency? Not enough to, uh, not enough though. Well, I guess I got plenty, I have plenty of room over here. There we go. The whole group admires your determination. All right. Uh, Draconic Rose says PDA will forever be public display of affection. Yeah, that's true. I Unfortunately, I'm just a little too old for that. That was not really a thing when I was uh, when I was young and so I never really caught on to it. Oh boy, sorry. In tired. Time. Gotta take a nap after, after, um, take a nap after the uh, stream here. Boy, I love taking naps. That's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, let's see, that's part of the residential area. I don't really want to build a farm. A tree farm in there. I will build a tree farm like that. And I okay, so you're already going. I don't even really need to worry about it. So the job done all right. I'm counting on you. I don't quite understand. I'm still not entirely sure how. Is there some trick to these sawmills? Does it just have to, like? Does it get the bonus for how many trees are within its radius or something? I 
I may be doing it wrong. You know what? I'm just going to put it like that. We're going to see. Uh, Draconic Rose says napping is good, but you know it's better a solid night's sleep. Well, that is true. I sleep for... Uh, I, I tend to sleep seven hours every night, and I like to take a nap in the afternoon. Um, that is a uh, habit I've had for a long time. Something I started doing at uh, when I worked at uh, grocery store probably 20 years ago. Uh, Draconic Rose says, remember waking up refreshed and ready to face the day? No, I pretty much do every day. I get good sleep at night. Red Ventrue, speaking of, has got to go to sleep. So, Red Ventrue, go, what? It's, oh, are you taking a nap? Because it's only 3.30 for Red Ventrue. You know why it's only 3.30 for Red Ventrue? Because he is in the Pacific time zone. Guess what, everybody? That means it's time for everybody's favorite, number one favorite podcast. What's your time zone? Red Ventrue is in Pacific time zone. I'm in Pacific time zone. Foxy's in Pacific time zone because West Coast is the best coast. What's your time zone? Surprise Yeti, what's your time zone? Draconic Rose, what's your time zone? Funak, what's your time zone? Uh, new viewer who just showed up and probably doesn't know what's going on. What's your time zone? Leon, you're in Germany. What's the time zone in Germany? Red Ventru works nights and sleeps during the day. Blah. Red Ventru is Pacific time zone. Draconic Rose, GMT. Superwoman, EST, she's in New York State or New York City? New York State, I think. I think I thought she was in New York City once, but she wasn't. Funak doesn't believe in time zone. He's a rebel. Superwoman, East. Hashtag East. Where the sun rises and the populations are crowded. Surprise Yeti, UTC plus one. That's Sweden. UTC plus one time zone. Manny shows up just in time with CET, the best time zone. Everybody's favorite time zone, CET. Stands for Central European Time. Did I get this right? Did I get it right for once? Red Ring 2 is so happy. Everybody loves. What's your time zone? No question about what the number one favorite podcast is. What's your time zone? It's everybody's favorite. All right, guys. Thank you so much for telling me what your time zone is. Once again, not the end of the stream, just the end of the podcast. I really need to figure out a way to wrap these podcasts up. This podcast brought to you by Earwolf's Earwolf Network's you talking you too to me, a podcast that hasn't had a new episode for like two years, but it's still hilarious, and it's where I got the idea for what's your time zone from. Not about you two at all. Thank you for listening. Bye. All right. Oh boy, that Sean, uh, that uh, radio Sean guy is insane. He so full of energy. Ah, uh, Leon, thank you for getting in. I'm uh, gonna open up the door for what's your time zone for one last second because Leon's at CET plus one. Leon, CET plus one. Uh, thank you, Leon. Okay, that's it for what's your time zone. And uh, so uh, the first one, Draconic Rose has a horn blowing out stuff. That's the second one. Is that like a bra exploding with stuff coming out from believe it, believe, below it? Morning. I'm guessing it's like fireworks or something, but it, it doesn't exactly look like that. I, I know it's not a bra either, but still. All right. Uh, where's my ship? No, that's my new ship. Oh, that's right. i got to set up this trade route for my new ship. How do I do trade routes again? Not patrol. Not start action mode. I want to go to strategic map. There we go. New trade route. You're going you're gonna to pick up stuff here. You're going to load vegetables. And then you're going to go here. And you're going to offload vegetables and I'm going to add this ship the rainbow and uh, trade route inefficient well I know it's inefficient the ship's barely going to have anything on it but guess what game that's still the only trade route I know how to do give me a break so uh, so judgmental all right here we go now you come back come back up here Let's, let's grab all the uh, extra, all the extra of that stuff. You don't, don't don't need to leave it there. We'll put it up here. We'll turn it into good stuff. Um, Funak says, "I think it's one of those New Year's balls." I guess I'm not sure what a New Year's ball is. Draconic Rose, I offended Draconic Rose. Uh, confetti ball, she says. Okay, sure. Um, 
Funak says he's never seen one. They're popula popular in the U.S. No, I never heard of one of those. Uh, Manny says it must be one hell of a wonder bra. Yeah, exactly. Well, I think I think it's a diagram of of uh, what uh, uh, like uh, how excited I get when when I do see a woman take off her bra. Uh, like the little little excitement things pop out of my eyes. It's like holy crap! I haven't seen a haven't seen those in a long time. All right, I'm going to dial it back on, on that conversation. Let's pretend that little bit of discussion never happened there. We got we got uh, Sokov bringing his oil all around, dirtying up the place. And our automatic ship finally doing some good going to help us uh help us out with this vegetable uh thing uh funak uh, says sean is a sexist pig confirmed exactly sometimes uh draconic rose says she has 1404 in her game library yeah you should try it out it's pretty fun 1404 is a uh i believe that was the one that came before this one um Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. Uh, Surprise Yeti asks why I'm a sexist, sexist pig. Um, eh, because I was talking about boobies. That's just a joke. Um, Draconic Rose says I only get excited because it's so rare. No, that's true. I, um, you know, I'm, I'm shy and I don't, uh, I'm not, I don't have any friends and stuff in real life, so. Uh, I'm not very good at uh, meeting women. It has been, uh, it has been a while. So that was kind of my point, actually. I do get excited because it's so rare. I get very excited. Uh, Superwoman says it's slowly getting cold here in New York. It is not getting cold here. It is going to be 110 degrees Fahrenheit here in Portland in the next couple of days. That's 43 degrees Celsius. It's going to be very hot here in Portland. And it's going to be miserable. Uh, I have no air conditioning. So I'm going to be dead in the next couple of days. It's 92 degrees today. And it's the coolest it's going to be for the next five days. <laughs> so ugh, I do not like thinking about that. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be very hot. Luckily, I live alone. So there's... The the uh, requirements for like my dress code requirements, shall we say, are not very strict. That's one of the real benefits of living alone. Uh, my cat does not care what I'm wearing. Um, uh, Funak says you know how to beat the heat: thick drapes and a lot of cold drinks. Well, I do have the cold drinks for sure, and I do have uh, uh, I do have. Uh, um, Coverings over my window so the light won't get in in the morning. My apartment faces east, so the sun hits my windows in the morning. So my apartment stays nice and dark and everything. But um, uh, we're going to have low temperatures of about uh, 75 degrees Fahrenheit. And I think that's like 26 or something Celsius. So like the low temperature is not going to be very cold. Uh, so it's going to get pretty hot. It's going to not be very fun. But I'll be streaming on a couple of those days, so you guys will get to hear me complaining about it. Don't worry about that. In case you were concerned, you wouldn't get to hear me complain about the temperature. Now, can I not combine those in the... There we go. Alright. Uh, how about I head up to this island and see if I can dump that stuff there. So I could be building all sorts of stuff, and I don't know why I'm not. How are we doing on food? We've got plenty of food, plenty of tea, but we are not keeping up with our health food and our communicators, right? So communicators, we just don't have enough. Um, do we have... We have spare copper, and we have spare sand, so I guess I just need to make another 
communicator factory. Like that. And as far as um, vegetable ingredients, oh, we definitely have plenty of those. So I just need to make another another sushi factory. I go to Game the saved. building thing, and I go to that, and I go to that, and then I turn that there. I'm going to do just one. Uh, Leon says I can upgrade my warehouse. Yeah. Oh, I see, because my warehouse is full. That's true. I can upgrade all my warehouses. It's actually a good idea to upgrade your warehouses, at least to the first upgrade, because they will gather resources more quickly and, of course, allow more, uh, allow more uh, storage room. Oh, did I miss something? Attorney asked Draconic Rose what games she's playing. Funak says it's a slippery slope. Draki, did I miss something there? Oh, Draconic Rose. Oh, <laughs> there's what I missed. Uh, Nikolai says, hi, gays. <laughs> <laughs> Draconic Rose says, I know that was probably a typo, but I love that greeting. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Hello, uh, Nikolai. <laughs> I, I, there may be gays here. I, I, no judgment, and who cares whether there are or not. Um, but uh, I'm assuming that you meant uh, hello, guys. So hello, Nikolai. Good to see you. Uh, uh, Leon says, build more ships and automate the trade routes to the building cells. Um, I'm not sure what you mean, but I, I'm, I'm, I know how to play this game, Leon. <laughs> uh, I've, uh, I'm not doing very good because I'm doing the stream and I'm talking to the chat and all that, and I haven't played it for years. But uh, uh, I used to be really good at this game, and I just haven't played it for a long, long time. Um, and it's very distracting when you're trying to talk the whole time. Uh, Nikolai, no, don't be sorry. It was very funny. Uh, it was an accident. We know. It was funny, though. No worries. We all like to have a good time here. Oh, that's right, Draconic Rose. I forgot about your shortest trip to Earth. I haven't had a chance to get in and watch you play that yet, actually. I'm, I'm not even really familiar with that, what that game is, to be honest. It's kind of a... Is it like a story? I know I looked into it, and it didn't seem like... Didn't quite seem like the right fit for my channel. Not that um, I've been playing some games recently that are weird, not really the right fits for my channel. So maybe I uh, should not uh, be so be so critical about stuff like that. Uh, Superwoman is leaving the stream on, but needs to get ready for work. Well, thank you, Superwoman, for uh, tuning in. Um, I hope you've had a good time. Always am happy to hear from you. And uh, you've, you've been watching some of the videos on my uh, channel, as, uh, some of the Let's Play videos as well. Thank you for watching those. I appreciate it. Uh, Draconic Rose says, uh, uh, it's a story uh, that uh, Shortest Trip to Earth is a lot like FTL, but story-driven. Okay, that sounds pretty fun. Surprise Yeti has a crystal ship. I'm not sure what that means. Attorney uh, bought FTL last week and has been hooked. Still hasn't won, but completely hooked. Yeah, I never did. Uh, I did make it to the bad, the, the first boss on FTL, but I couldn't get any further than that. Unfortunately. I mean, I just stopped playing, too. It's not like I continued trying. 
making uh, making YouTube's vid YouTube videos kind of takes away from my ability to play games and have fun, unfortunately. Ah, Crystal Ship is an FTL ship. Got it. The hardest one to get. Eco balance. Values rising. I think I was only able to open up one kind of ship on FTL. And it didn't really do me a whole lot of good. Alright, so now I can build the education network. Once I'm able to build this education network, I'm going to be able to uh, have my houses start to upgrade again. So I, I went ahead and turned off the ability to auto-upgrade here. Let's build the education network. I'm going to want to upgrade some of these guys. All right. We'll put that right there. Uh, Draconic Rose says her cat is sitting between her and her bowl, trying to kidnap her fork as it travels to her mouth. Sounds sounds like a cat. Alright, let's upgrade one of these guys to the next level. What, wait a minute, why did it not upgrade? Oh, they ran out of PDAs. They ran out of communicators. Communicators ran out of microchips. Microchips probably ran out of... No, nah, I don't think the microchips ran out of anything. So, I need another microchip factory. Microchips, right there. Good. Oh, we're back to a negative eco-balance. Dang it. Oh, and you can't, you can speed the game up by holding down the plus button, but you can't. It's weird, you can, there's only one speed available on this game. And, uh, unless you just like hold down the button to kind of force the speed to change. Nice, the way you have everything under control here. Good for you. Um... Uh, Nikolai asked, this is a new version of Anno? No, this is Anno 2070, so kind of an older version of it from uh, 2011. So it's the second most recent one. The most recent one is 2070. Yep, Funak says it's six years old. He is correct. You are correct, sir. Yes. hey -oh. Terrible, terrible Ed McMahon impersonation. Uh, but you know what? That impression is so old, you guys probably don't even know how bad it was. Foxy probably knows. How are we doing here? 12. We're, tr we're bringing 12 every time the uh, ship comes back and forth, huh? And how are we doing up here on our food? Doing all right. And we are overproducing our uh, overproducing on the uh, sushi so thank you Foxy you are right uh, surprise Yeti asked me to do a Seth Rogen laugh not quite sure what a Seth Rogen laugh is that'd be like <laughs> uh, I can't do it <laughs> no can't do it um, Settlement of an island. Funak asked if I can make a Willy Wonka impression. Good day, sir. No. I'm also not sure. But, uh, good day, sir. I, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'm not really a fan of the Gene Wilder's Willy Wonka. Um... Leon, time is running fast. Next year he has his graduation. Well, congratulation, congratulations, Leon. Um, good for you, and I hope your uh, hope your life goes well for you after graduation. All 
My graduation was a long time ago. I did not graduate college. I don't know. Like, I know in some parts of the world, college and high school, they're like different things, so it's very confusing. But anyways. I never went to college here in the United States. Or university, I suppose, as you would say, in the rest of the world. All right, now I think is when I'm going to need to have... Nope, I still don't have the... Uh... Still don't have the other population type that I need. When do we start? When do I need to open them up? Hmm. Alright, so this produces glass. Glass comes from sand and limestone. Limestone, I would get... Would I get limestone at all? We do have limestone on this island. Leon Middle School graduation. Um, I'm not... What... Um, like, how old are you, Leon? Uh, how old... Uh, like, middle school here in the United States, that would mean that you're 14 years old. But maybe that's different in Germany. I, I don't know. I I don't mind if you're only 14 years old. It seems very young, but like it's not a problem or anything. Funak says I thought college was the thing before university. Um, here in the United States, college and university are this just two different words for the same thing. Uh, here in the United States, what you call college, I think is what we would call high school. High school is where you go when you're between when you're 15 and 18 years old. And then you go to university or college after high school. So from like 19 to whatever. Uh, Leon, okay, so, yep, so you'll be going to, so you are getting through basically what we would consider middle school here as well, so. Ah, okay, so I can open up the other population type now. I have gotten far enough for that. Um, I do want to get the... Let me know if uh, a few guys can see that. That was really weird. I have no idea why it uh, why it would have done that. The stream dropped out of college. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right, great. Sorry, guys. I have no idea what happened there. It just like just dropped out for no reason. Um, it. Uh, I got the little weird um, the doo -doo 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 noise and then uh, I got a thing saying the stream will rejoin in 10 seconds or whatever the heck it was saying uh, and um, then it rejoined so weird stuff very weird Um, whoops, I, I do not want to be there. What am I trying to do? I am trying to start glass production. So I'm just going to build that right there. Another energy shortage. So we need more power. I'll put it right there. There we go. Uh... <laughs> Surprise Yeti's neighbors just started playing loud music. It's almost one in the morning. WTF. Yeah, I know how you feel. Sorry to hear that, buddy. Uh what are these what do they use when they when they upgrade? 
when they upgrade it will use two two and three so they are going to be burning through all of uh, all of those things but I do want them to start upgrading because these guys pay better taxes and um, greater population and all that stuff so all right actually I'm just gonna open up the there you go you guys all upgrade on your own and so now we're producing glass great uh, I need to spend ten thousand dollars to upgrade to buy the um, buy the uh, welcome there we My go. Name is Professor Dr. Salman Devi. Oh, so this opened up the tech buildings now available. Interesting. So this opened up the tech buildings. Transfer of all tech construction plans. So I thought this would actually this didn't open up the second group of people. It opened up the third group of people. So I can do them before I can do the second one, strangely. So ready. Transferring command protocol. I can new now purchase a new trimaran. Trimaran ready for five thousand. Sure, why not? Trimaran ready. And where's where's my new ship? Where's my old ship? Well, where is it? Why are you telling me that my ship is ready when it's clearly not ready? Ah, there it is. Now it's ready. Now these guys are cool because this guy can go underwater. And I guess it shows up as above water. There you go. So now I can see underwater. And, um, whoops. And there's... Uh, Uh, he's going to have to explore around a bit. But there are underwater islands and all sorts of interesting stuff uh, that you can do with that. And eventually we're going to have to build underwater cities and stuff. And uh, uh, then we're going to have to have like uh, production lines going back and forth uh, between those things. Um, Leon likes the submarine with the EMP. Uh, I agree. They're pretty neat. So here we've got this underground island right here. As you can see, underground islands are a little tricky to build on. Um, uh, Funak's uh, neighbor started playing death metal at 3 in the morning last week in the middle of the week. Uh, he didn't complain because the music was solid. Uh, you're a lot more patient than me, Funak. Although calling the police on my neighbors doesn't really do much good, but I definitely would complain to my landlord if something like that happened. I would not be happy. Um, how am I doing on uh, all my basic resources here? Seems like we're doing okay on on the food and tea. We've got our communicators and our sushi. Um, we're going to need other food types here soon. This is short on vegetables. Yeah, we definitely need to be making more vegetables. So I think I'll start another vegetable farm down here. Go back to the Ecos. Go to those guys there. Vegetables there. Oh, I need to get a power going on this island. go uh, so I go to this one and then I go here I just plunk that right down there there we go positive power and I would like to have um, the weather control station in here too there we go. Get us back to positive over here. Uh, Leon says, mostly I use the oil from underwater islands for money, but first use them to create carbon. Exactly right. Good way to make money with the oil in this. And um, uh, carbon, uh, of course, you need to keep your, to keep your uh, scientists happy. I think I might set up the scientists on this island. 
And I probably will set up my other population group on this island as well. Uh, what, do, what do all do the scientists need? They need fish. They need functional food, but I can't see what the ingredients are for functional food. Shoot. And I can't... So they need uh, tools and... Wow. Need a lot of stuff to get those guys going there. Alright, so I'm going to pull tools. I'm going to pull those. And I'm going to come down here. I'm going to... Uh, whoops, did I s skip my ship somehow? There we go, come down here and I'm going to start it up there. Uh, Superwoman is back. She's got 30 minutes before she needs to leave. Uh, yep, I'm probably going to go in about 10 minutes or so, guys. I'm really hungry. And, uh, uh, you know, I mean, we're having fun, but, um, I don't, I don't think we're going to get far enough and, uh, and, uh, uh, get far enough in this to, to really make a big difference, unfortunately. Uh, I am having a good time, though. I forgot how much I like this game. If I had time, I would probably play it offline, but I don't have time for that. Too busy investigating other games. Now what? I'm going to need aqua farms, and I'm going to need a functional food factory. But that's, right? That's No, that's lab assistants. Ah, got it. So I don't, but I will need... That's right. I'll have to build... Ah, I forgot how complicated this, this is. Giant Foray is back. Hello, Giant Foray. Welcome back. Good to see you. Over here, I'm going to set up a tool farm because we are definitely going to need that. Even if I don't need to... Actually, I don't need to build roads. What am I doing? What I do need to build is one of these guys and one of these guys. And then I need to build roads here. Oh, Funak Funak says Anno 0900 Let's Play series. Oh, I would be on top of that. That'd be fun. I don't quite know what that would entail, but it sounds like a lot of fun. So I'm going to set up a tool production over here. Energy supply oh, of course not enough energy supply. Why would there be enough energy supply on this island? And I forgot one of the real benefits of of having the uh, eco-engineers. Oh, I can't, but soon I'll be able to build offshore wind park. And those are the, uh, those are great. So, um, Superwoman says Linkin Park was her favorite band but one of the singers died yeah that's too bad um i'm i'm not really sure like i've heard of the i've heard of lincoln park but i'm not located like you know like i don't know that i would recognize any of their songs or anything um but still it's a real shame all right i don't want to do that and I missed that message. It must not have been that important. Probably a new underground island or something. A new regular island, something like that. Uh-oh. What's going on? Oh, sh shit. What am I missing? Is there a hospital? No, there's not. Oh, there's the hospital. Got it. So I do need one of those. Ah, it doesn't quite cover all of them either, though. But I'll put it there. It covers most all of them. We really need your help. Oh, that's right. I got to set these guys to one of the uh, 
So let's see. The current channel it's on satisfies the need for information. Satisfies the need for information. Increases tax income for all eco residents. Reduces the consumption of lifestyle products for all eco residents. I think that's the one that I want to have. That's better. I do need more energy. Ugh, still don't really have room for all this energy. That's why I need those offshore. I need those offshore facilities. But I can put another standard windmill over here. Like, oh, 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 right there would be perfect. Can't quite do it. But I can do that right there. There you go, that'll do. Uh, Foxy, I do know Nirvana. I remember that. I liked Nirvana a lot. Um, I mean, as much as I liked any band back then. Um, which is actually more than I like bands now, so. Uh, but yep, uh, I had their uh, album Nevermind. Um, very up to date with them at the time. And of course, I remember Kurt Cobain killing himself. That was a real shame. They are from uh, Aberdeen, Washington, a little town up on the coast, about 200 miles from here, I guess. Uh, weird little town. I've been up there once. Didn't really hang out. That wasn't really a weird little town. It was nice enough there. Clear. Risk of epidemic under control. Oh, thank you. Superwoman asks Foxy, what is Foxy live stream? Yeah. She was streaming Albion the other day. I mean, she can answer for herself, but for the people listening later on, she was streaming Albion the other day. She streamed something else uh desert desert under underground desert fighter or something like that what was this stream that did not go very well that went worse than any of my streams sorry i shouldn't uh shouldn't I'm uh, time is of the essence in this matter say talk badly streaming is hard <laughs> Surprise Yeti says he's only ever been to one concert. That was Motley Crue and Alice Cooper. Sounds fun, I guess. I have never been to a concert. I'm just not that into music. Like, I've been to, like, free concerts at the park or whatever. But um, I've never paid tickets and went to an actual concert and had fun. I... I the only band I really like is Steely Dan, and they, they are supposed to be really bad live. I should have went to see Pink Floyd in concert in 1992, and I kind of regret not going to that. Like, I would have had to take the night off of work and stuff, but um, so I sort of regret that. Uh, good. Draconic Rose and Surprise Yeti, they got my back. Draconic Rose says she doesn't like concerts. Surprise Yeti says concert was way too loud to hear anything. That's exactly how I feel. Um, Seems like it would be extraordinarily loud and uncomfortable. Superwoman says she's always looking for any horse riding games. Well, Albion has that. I don't know what other horse riding games there would be. You can go when you're ready. Oh shush, Yana. Some help you turned out to be. Yeah, I'm not much help at all. Oh, hey guys, look at that. It's four o'clock. Well, I guess that means it's time to time to wind things down for our stream here. Uh, I want to thank everybody who showed up um, and uh, all the fun that we had. I didn't expect an extremely popular stream or anything like that, and I know that that has not been the case. But uh, what was the case is we had a lot of nice people show up and have a good time, and that's what really matters to me. A lot of people here having fun. We all enjoy watching the stream together and chatting and all those things. I definitely had a good time. I hope you had a good time too. Everybody's starting to say goodbye over in the chat. Goodbye, Superwoman. Goodbye, everybody. We all had fun. Thank you so much. I hope you will check out the Discord. 
There's a link down in the comments to this video. And uh, I hope you will uh, follow me on Twitter as well. I, I say some funny stuff on there sometimes. Um, I will be streaming again. Um, let's see, today's Monday, so I'll be streaming again on Wednesday. I'm not sure what I'm going to stream, but I'll stream something. And uh, we'll have a good time. It'll be at the same time. Started two hours ago. And um, we'll play a game and have fun. And it'll be fun for everybody. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you on the channel. Bye.